25 years ago, kaiju films were at an all-time low, especially amongst American audiences. That is until a new movie came out that promised to be the biggest, baddest, and best kaiju film ever made. And then it fell flat on its face. Boasting a nearly pitiful score of only 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, this once highly anticipated mega blockbuster has since become the butt of many jokes from fans of the franchise and in the genre of kaiju films. But in the 25 years since release, we have seen a resurgence of fans who grew up with the film and have since launched it to cult status. That's right, folks. In the words of my good friend and mortal enemy, Zedzilla, Today we're talking about Roland Emmerich's 1998 American masterpiece, Godzilla, starring Matthew Broderick. So... We have here the 25th anniversary 4K steelbook of Godzilla 1998. Uh, And we're going to talk about the physical media release. But first, I wanted to talk about the movie. I've never seen the movie up until now. Uh, I have somehow gone all 27 years of my life without actually viewing Godzilla 98. Admittedly, I am not the biggest Godzilla fan in the world, despite the criterion set behind me. Uh, I do like those Shawa era movies, but the the more modern, especially the Toho era, the 80s and 90s into the modern uh, monster verse, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I am starting to open myself up to it. And I thought no better place to start than Godzilla 98. I gotta say, this movie is not a good Godzilla movie. It's not. It's just not a great Godzilla movie, but it's a fun fucking movie. It's so much fun. It is your big, explosive, destructive, gigantic blockbuster that is just, I mean, it was the first Godzilla film made by Americans for American audiences. It ditches a lot of the uh, old school kaiju tropes and just goes for more of a disaster film, a gigantic monster film. Uh, I did like that it kept the fact that it was, you know, nuclear testing, um, but it was, you know, it Americanized it. It made the French look really bad instead of uh, the Americans looking really bad because in the original Godzilla, it was a commentary on the atomic bomb and Hiroshima and how the Americans absolutely decimated Japan with uh, nuclear weapons. And that's what, you know, was caused Godzilla to be born. So they couldn't necessarily blame uh, the Americans in American movies. So who's the next best country to pick on? Cause you can't pick on Japan, uh, France, you, you know, you're going to pick on France, but even though they, they picked on France a lot, the, the French secret service agent, uh, his name was, uh, uh, Philippe. He was badass played by Jean Reno. Dude, Philippe is so freaking cool in this movie. He is such a badass. I loved him. Uh, I really loved what's his name. Uh, Victor uh, played by Hank Azaria. Now that character right there is someone that I had a really hard time seeing him because every time that I'd ever seen Hank in anything, it was friends. He was playing. Um, what's his name in friends? Phoebe's boyfriend the one who goes to Minsk and uh, he's like, he's like super mousy and nerdy and has a slight stutter and, and all that. And so seeing like having that image of, of him in my head and then seeing him play Victor in this movie is like night and day. So it was a little bit jarring at first, but I ended up really liking the character of Victor. Um, Matthew Broderick, of course, Ferris Bueller. He's an incredible freaking actor all the way around. Gotta love Matthew Broderick. And then uh, Audrey uh, played by, who is it? Maria Polito. Um, she kind of just felt like a discount April O'Neil from TMNT to me, just chasing a story, but she was still fine. But yeah, the acting in this was really fun. Um, I really, really loved the design of Godzilla. I thought that he looked super badass, And 
when he was breathing fire and stuff. That was just, ah, it was so fun. It, it just, this movie's just so fun. Uh, I like the design of New York city in it. Uh, you could tell a lot of it was a uh, back lot done. And then some of it was of course, CGI. Um, but it, the way that they designed New York was absolutely incredible, especially they, they, they really put pronounced like the, the twin towers in this. And that's something that, uh, you know, especially nowadays we don't get because since 2001, uh, so I always love pointing out the twin towers and movies that take place in New York pre 2001. Um, so many New York landmarks in here absolutely get destroyed. Madison square garden and the Brooklyn bridge absolutely decimated this. I don't know, man, this movie's absolutely a blast. Um, but again, not a good Godzilla movie. It's really not a good Godzilla movie. It's just a really fun monster movie. And I think that is what uh, a lot of us like about it the most uh, is that we can kind of separate the fact that, oh yeah, okay, so this isn't really Godzilla, Godzilla, but we can still have a lot of fun with it. And this is also, I think, why if you follow my friend Zed on TikTok, he's always talking about Roland Emmerich's 1998 American masterpiece, Godzilla starring Matthew Broderick, and I think when he really means, even though it is, you know, a bit, but I think that he really does enjoy it. And I think what he enjoys about it is just how much fun the movie is. And I, I see it now. I really see it. Zed, I freaking see it. Okay. This movie, I, I had a grin ear to ear the whole time watching it. It was such a fun movie. I think this might be one of my new favorite comfort movies to watch. I'm just going to put it on uh, when I go to sleep at night or whatever, just, just because it just seeing a giant monster destroy New York city is freaking incredible. All right. So let's get into the steel book right here. We have the cover, uh, with the design of Godzilla. Again, I really like this design. I know it's, it's more, he's more of a lizard in this or more of like a mixture between a lizard and a T-Rex opposed to your classic Godzilla design. He looks a lot different here than he does in other Godzilla movies, but I like it. Then we have our spine, and the helicopters peeking through the building, the skyscraper that that Zilla moved through. I really like that. Let's uh, let's open her up. I'll show you disc art. So we got the 4K disc art. And then we got the Blu-ray disc art, which is really cool. It's his eye. I love that. I love that disc art. That's super neat. And then the inside artwork is super interesting. I thought this was his tail out first, but now I'm thinking it might be uh, his foot. I can't really tell exactly. The picture's a little bit blurry, um, so I think that that might be his foot, or it could still be his tail. I'm not sure, but I think it's. I really do think it's his foot that's like coming down, about to stomp on these cabs. Uh, I, I can't exactly tell. So there's the unboxing of this beautiful steel book. What about the 4K scan? Guys, this scan for this movie looks incredible in so many ways. Uh, I mean, the movie was shot on film in 1998, and you got to love that. But this 4K disc really, really brings out the detail in a lot of the great practical effects that they used for the um, like the baby Godzilla's in Madison Square Garden and stuff when he lays the eggs. Um, the, the practical ones look absolutely great when they do the close ups of them and everything. Um, the city looks really great. This makes the, the 4k scan makes the city look great. The HDR is awesome, but this movie is dated. Even though I love the design of Godzilla in this, the CGI that was used to make him is very dated. It does not look that great when he's moving the actual animations themselves look pretty bad and i think that the 4k honestly really brings that out and makes it look worse uh, than opposed to watching it like on a dvd or on a vhs even or maybe even on a blu-ray i didn't watch the blu-ray version of this so i don't know i can't tell you for sure but that's really my only complaint about this whole thing um is that the 4k just makes the cgi of zilla a little rougher uh, around the edges but I mean, it's still passable. It's still, it doesn't detract too very much from the fact that this is just a super fun movie. Um, it's not the best movie in the world, obviously, but it is still super fun.
All right, and there is a fairly short review of Roland Emmerich's 1998 American masterpiece, Godzilla, 4K 25th Anniversary Steelbook. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like and a comment. Let me know if you already picked this up, what you think, and if you're going to pick it up, let me know. And uh, go follow my friend Zedzilla on TikTok. I'll leave his uh, link to his page in the description because he makes awesome content. He's just super fun. Don't tell him I said that, though, because we're kind of at war right now. But yeah, so go follow Zed. Go get this if you want to. If you really like this movie, uh, it's definitely worth it. It's a really fun, uh, really, really fun movie and a really nice looking steelbook. So, yeah. All right, guys. Peace.